Hey everybody, I just took the Alteryx Designer Cloud Core certification test. That test is brand new and I'd love to tell you my impressions, how I found it. I did pass the test, it's a good thing. Um, not gonna do a fail forward then uh, run some sort of challenge with y'all. I, I may do that sometime in the future. But for this one, just went ahead and knocked it out just to see if uh, it was something I could pass on the first try. And I did indeed with flying colors. Let's, uh, let's talk about the certification. Is it any good? How's the test? How tough is it? My immediate thoughts from the test is number one, it's about time. And mad props to the test team, all friends of mine, wonderful people. They have been really working hard on this. We had our Inspire conference in May and pretty much ever since then, I think they've just been going crazy trying to get this test published. So came out today. I got word at about 1230 today. It is Friday, July 5th. Just still recovering from uh, Independence Day yesterday. So I'm not exactly mentally at the top of my game today, but um, yeah, wanted to really launch into this quickly and see if I could do it. Um, so props to the testing team. Great job getting it out there. What is the test like? Let me look at my results real quick. There we go. Um, so you can see I got a 90.9% might prompt you to ask, what is the passing score? That is a more complicated answer than you might think, but we'll get to that. Okay. So the test, one interesting thing about the test is it's a slightly, slightly shorter timeline than the desktop one. You only get 90 minutes to do this test and it's still quite a lot of questions. There are 74 questions on this test. I did not find myself pressed for time. And honestly, I wasn't super focused on it. I w also wasn't super ready to take it. I've not been using cloud much in the last couple of weeks. And I, so I just kind of threw myself into it to see how it went and still really did not struggle to pass it. I do use cloud on occasion. I'm getting better and better with it. So I don't feel like if you use designer cloud, this should not be a big challenge for you, this test. And, and nor should it be a challenge managing your time. As you can see, I got it done with 20 plus minutes to spare. And I wasn't even really trying to go that fast, to be honest. So what is the test like? Well, it's more or less a shot for shot remake of the desktop core cert as far as types of questions, as far as the things that it focuses on. Like I said, there are 74 questions. There are three practical application questions. That's exactly the same as the desktop certification. The three pack up questions, two of them I found to be super simple. Just a handful of tools like, you know, pull a data set. You got to download a data set from the test, pull the data set, to do an aggregation, do a data prep step or two, and then answer a question. Super simple. There was one that was a bit more complicated. There was some data configuration involved. There was a couple of different steps that had to be done to prepare the data set. There were a couple of different conclusions you had to come to. And so I was a little surprised at that. That was um, a little bit more like an intermediate or like an advanced test type question. Maybe not quite that complicated. It was still basic tools, but yeah. So PRACAP, it's there. Once again, like the how the desktop certification has been redone recently, the PRACAP is not an overwhelming number of points. 74 questions, three of them PRACAP. The PRACAP are worth, worth three points each. The multiple choice are worth one point each. So going back to kind of the old way the test was where the, the multiple choice questions were the vast preponderance of the points, and really you can you can do a kind of a poor job on the prac apps and still pass the test with flying colors. So let's get into that. So here is the page, the certification page. I'm talking about the test, so check it out, okay? Time allotted, 90 minutes. Attempt, one every seven days. Question 74, those are all, all boilerplate. 71 multiple choice, multiple percents, and matching questions, very similar to what you see on the, the desktop. Three prac apps, one point for multiple choice, three for prac app questions. Blah, 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 blah. What score do you need to pass the test? As Billy Crystal would say, uh, yeah, don't know. It's actually not listed here on this page. And it's also not listed here, which is the study guide, unless I am totally missing something. So if anybody else out there pulls the study guide and takes a look at this, 
and can find what the cut line is for that score, let me know because I cannot see it. The study guide, like most of the study guides, a lot of it is just kind of boilerplate stuff about testing in Alteryx in general. So if you've never taken an Alteryx test before, this may be useful to you. Most of this stuff is just not, yeah, not, not super useful to me because I've taken many, many Alteryx tests. But individual results may vary. Here we've got the weight. Uh, so section one, designer cloud knowledge and optimization is a third. Input output data and preparation is a third. We'll get to that. Blend and parse is, you know, of the remaining third is a sixth, I guess. And then transform is a sixth. So let's talk about, okay, so there's all of that, all of that, all of that. Is this study guide a good description of the test? Sort of. It, it's not bad. I, there, were, there were definitely questions on the test. Now, I did not, full disclosure, I did not study this study guide very well. Like I said, I got word that the test was out there. I said, awesome, and I launched it. And then I looked at the study guide afterwards. There were some questions on there that really surprised me. Looking back through the study guide, I don't see them covered here. And so I don't mean to alarm anyone, but there were definitely questions about things that are external to, let's give it the, the proper term, designer cloud designer experience. Okay, and I'll talk about that probably in a more detailed video later, but designer cloud designer experience is the clunky, horrible name that we have to hang on the Alteryx designer cloud construct as opposed to the trifacta, which was the, the thing that we bought from another company that is you know more or less now totally phased out um, but the new test is on the designer cloud designer experience as it's called there were questions external to that there were questions about things in alteryx analytics cloud which is the entire environment now alteryx analytics cloud involves reporting and plans and the machine learning platform and auto insights now not, not all of that is fair game and actually, none of it is fair game as far as this description right here. There were definitely questions on plans and how workflows can be worked into plans, but they, but the questions were not about how designer desktop works. They were much more about how plans works. There were only a couple of them. You could definitely get get them all wrong and still pass the test fine. It just was surprising to me. And I came back here and looked at the, the test outline. Does not mention plans anywhere. So now you can, those questions, you can kind of common sense your way through them. Yeah, anyway, so enough on that. So like I said, I'm looking over my notes here of what I wanted to cover. Yeah, it took me an hour and eight minutes. I was not super well prepared. If you are well prepared, you should be fine. I only looked up a handful of answers. And when I say looked up, I mean, I had designer cloud running on another monitor and some of the questions I kind of knew and I kind of went, oh, I'm not really sure about that one. And I went and just checked it, you know, what pain does this and what, you know, and so very quick checks. It wasn't, I wouldn't say that I looked up a single answer. That was not a thing, but I definitely checked on some things. I highly recommend, you should definitely have Designer Cloud running as you're doing this test, not only because you've got to do practical application questions, but I would have multiple panes of Designer Cloud running because I had another one with a workflow built out where I could just click on different tools and say, wait, let me check this answer on a cross-tab tool or a transpose tool, things like that. Okay. Um, as far as the tools covered, it's essentially, it's essentially the same tools as the Designer Desktop Cert. So basic data prep tools, formula filter, sort sample, the, the transform tools summarize is, is obviously hit heavily, cross tab and transpose, the join tools, join union, that's more or less it. I think that there's some stuff on append fields, but yeah, so really it's, it, this is pretty accurate, but there definitely were a handful of questions that just did not fit anywhere in here. The things where I struggled, let me, mm -mm -mm, let me present the, because the email, stop screen, present, share screen. We'll get there, we'll get there. Window, email, 
There we go. We're sharing. Cool. Okay. So this right here shows, and I talked to Gary Gruccio, who's a friend and, you know, just Alteryx expert for years and years. And I think he, he said he struggled with some of the same things. There's a lot of questions that I didn't do well on were about input and output data. They were about kind of configuration, user admin, like admin rights, who can modify access to this data connection, all the sort of data connection stuff in the, in the data tab in Alteryx Analytics Cloud. I wasn't, I was foggy on those. I don't, I don't work in like a group environment on the cloud really. So that's not an issue for me. I didn't feel like looking those up. So I, I took a beating on those questions. Execution engines, I vaguely know the difference between some of the engines. There were a couple of things where I could kind of sort out, but you can see 50% there. Workspace and data access, those, those admin permissions, don't know, 50% there. 25% on build formulas. I have no idea what that's about. I must have just kind of scooted through a couple of questions and, and blown those because I know formulas well. I've, I've had to teach formula classes many, many times over the last couple of weeks. But you see just about anything else, mo most of the things dealing with tools, I was fine. Read and write data, space and data access, save, share, and export. Yeah, the, the input, output, not not that great on. But yeah, all of it added up to a 91%. So, you know, passed, passed comfortably. Over what cut line? Couldn't tell you. So there's that. Let me take that off. Other notes of note from my notes. There is no learning path for this test yet. I don't know what team, honestly, as an Alteryx employee, I personally don't know what team puts those learning paths together. It's not my team. It's also not the testing team, I don't think. So there are lessons on the community. You can definitely find all of this material on community, but there is no curated learning path right now that if you go to that learning path, the designer cloud learning path will still teach you trifecta. Don't waste your time on that. Nobody's using trifecta anymore. Yeah, neither the page nor the study guide say what the passing score is. Found that very odd. I'm gonna go tell the testing ladies, hey, you should probably put that on there. Questions on the test that are slightly outside of designer cloud, absolutely and what I struggled with. There we go. I think that's it. So instant impressions. Is this a worthwhile thing to get? Absolutely. You can get a 30-day trial download, or not download, really, it's cloud. So a trial license to get on the cloud and use this. Once again, I love my 30-day challenges. Could you Could you learn this in 30 days and knock it out? Absolutely. Could you learn this even quicker than that if you're already used to designer desktop? for sure. So at some point, I'll put something together. I don't know if I'll do a full 30-day challenge for it, but I will definitely do some instructions. We'll talk about how you get the 30-day trial license, and we'll, we'll go through kind of blow by blow what you should do to prepare for this test. How useful is it? Now, there are, there are fewer customers for Designer Cloud than there are for Designer Desktop. This is, you know, this isn't a state secret. So if, if you're going to pick between the two, I would definitely recommend that you get the desktop certificate. If you're looking to develop Alteryx skills, if you want that in your toolkit, get the desktop one first because it's just more common. More people have the software now. Now, if you want to be ahead of the curve and, the, you know, the big cloud AI revolution, all of that sort of stuff, that definitely this should be something to add to your toolkit. So we'll do more content on this in the kind of the days ahead. I may start doing cloud quests that's the the weekly it's now bi-weekly challenge on cloud computing with alteryx don't expect there to be a ton of people taking this challenge so that's why i'm kind of eh, on the fence about doing a 30-day thing but um yeah hit me up with whatever questions you have what what are you curious about about the certificate about the alteryx certification program in general i'm happy to answer all questions just drop them in the comments here if this is content you like please like the video, please subscribe to the channel. Ramping up content again, tr trying to drive towards a thousand subscribers. I I'll really be quite excited when I get to that plateau. It's been a grind. We're coming up on a hundred videos here pretty soon and lots of lessons learned. And I've got a lot of plans for going forward with, with more content. So if you, if you wanna see something in particular, please let me know. I do take suggestions. I don't always put them into action. 
there's definitely times where viewers of the of the video content give me great ideas and we go ahead and, and make that sort of stuff. So um, let me hear from you if you've got suggestions. And with that, folks, go get your cloud certificate, Semper Fidelity.